We are back with another Home Depot Kids workshop for you just to do at home with your kids. Today we're gonna to be making an awesome crane for the kids and I think they're gonna enjoy this one. Hi, I'm Serena. I'm Kojo. I'm Mohani. And I'm Kawada. And today we are gonna be using one of the Home Depot kits that's available at homedepot.com and at Home Depot, but if you cannot get your hands on one, don't worry because we're gonna show you how to make one out of cardboard and just materials that you find around the house. Why are you laughing? All right, so let's jump into this project right now. Obviously the kids are super excited to get started, so let's do it. These kids always have a good time during these projects. Okay, here's what you get in the kit. One base, one body, one cab, one winch, one piece of string, one arm, four wheels, four axle pegs, one hook, one long and one short screw, and six nails. Don't forget, you get a sticker sheet and paint is optional. You'll also need fine sandpaper, wood glue, a hammer, and a number two Phillips screwdriver. And remember, you'll need safety glasses and a dusk mask. Now this kit comes with the kids' own personal smock and they get a certificate of achievement and a pin. What's great is that the instructions are simple enough for even a five-year-old to understand. So let's jump into this. Step one, take your fine sandpaper and remove any rough edges from the wood, sanding in the direction of the wood grain. Lay the base down and start with four nails. Now don't go all the way through, just get it started. And then for step two, take the body, Lay it down, put a little bit of wood glue, smear that around, but don't get too messy, and then set the base on top of the body, making sure that those edges are lined up. With the wood glue, it's gonna be a little wiggly, so hold it in place and then let it dry for a couple minutes and then hammer it down. Kids might need a little bit of extra help here because it can be a little difficult to get those nails all the way through, so just help them out a little bit if they need it. And you may find that you need some hearing protection too because it can get pretty loud with all that banging. So for step three, take the cab, turn it over and add a little bit of wood glue to the bottom. And once that's covered, line it up to the front edge of the body. Now make sure that that hole in the back is not covered. That's the back and that's for the winch. When the wood glue is dry, take two of the nails, hammer those in and attach it to the body. For step four, place the winch on top of the body with the screw holes matching up. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, attach them together with the long screw. You wanna slide the wider end of the arm into the cutout into the winch and align the holes. Attach them together with a short screw and adjust the short screws so that the arm is not too tight or too loose. For step five, this is the part the kids love, putting on the wheels. So slide an axle peg through each of the wheels. Now you can put a dot of glue on the end of each axle peg and then insert them into the peg holes so it doesn't come out. And if you need a hammer, you can go ahead and tap it a few times if necessary. And the kids were already battling each other before we got to the final step, step six, which is adding the stickers and the string. So add the stickers and then push one end of the string through the hole in the arm and then tie a knot and then push the other end of the string into the hole in the hook and tie that knot as well. Once the cranes are done, then it's time to get the kids thinking about science and putting these cranes to test. So we actually use different materials based on this sciencefaircentral.com workshop extension activity where the kids were going to test with different materials. We needed a block of wood, some Velcro, magnets and a command strip and we even used some bird block netting and the kids had to figure out which material was going to be the best for picking up this load which was a block of wood so one kid did the testing another kid did the writing and i think the other kid just made a bunch of noise in the back <laughs> but this is a great activity for kids especially when they're home they're on summer break or vacation it's a great way to get their minds going and thinking about science we ended up determining that the magnets work the best. And so we use a little bit of hot glue, attach the magnets to the end of the string and attach one to the load and it worked pretty well. These crane kits are super cute, but what if you can't find them anywhere? Well, guess what? You can actually make this out of cardboard and with common items around your home. You need some cardboard, craft sticks or popsicle sticks, milk or water bottle plastic caps, machine screws, yard or string, paper clip, craft paint, but you'll also need a utility knife or scissors, hot glue, a black marker, and a paintbrush. 
This is the template we're gonna to use to make the body of the crane. And you can find this template in the blog post tutorial and download that for free. You'll notice the extra dotted lines around the body. That is because we wanna leave a little bit of excess cardboard so that we could have some of that cardboard to cover the seams. Once you've completed step one of transferring this to cardboard, we're gonna cut it out for step two. You'll again see that it's a little bit larger. This is so that we'll be able to keep this cardboard and have that be sort of a flap to cover those seams once we're ready to fold this all together. Step three, we're gonna use our fingernail and go right over these creases here so that when we fold this together, it's easy to fold. Practice folding up the body of the crane. It should create a nice rectangle, but if there's any spots where the paper isn't really needed, go ahead and trim that off and then take your hot glue and apply the hot glue along the edges of the paper, that excess paper that we left. Cardboard is really great for constructing things, but it's got an ugly edge, an ugly seam. So if we leave this paper, it allows us to cover up that seam and have it look a little bit more tailored. Use your hot glue and apply it to the edges of the excess paper that we left on the box. Fold it up and then if there's any parts that seem kind of rough or little edges there that need to be smoothed down, use the very fine paper to sand it. It actually works. For step five, use the template that's provided. This is another template for the cab and trace this out onto cardboard. Now you don't have to have a separate cab and body. I did it separate, but you don't have to. But using the template, you're gonna trace this out on cardboard and then again, having an excess amount of paper there to cover the seams is a great idea. And we'll just fold this up just like we did the body and making sure that the edges are covered and neat. The last cardboard piece you need is the winch and we're gonna use the template for that as well, which you can find in the blog post. We'll create a one inch slit down the center and that's where the arm will be able to be placed for the DIY crane. When the cab and the body are done, glue them together with hot glue. And then for the next step, step six, use a ruler and create a line right down the center of the body on all four sides and we're gonna paint the top orange and the bottom is gonna be gray. You'll need probably about two or three coats of craft paint and don't worry about the seams. The paint does a really good job of covering everything. For step eight, take some spray paint or craft paint and spray paint the wheels black. Now these are just the caps to the milk containers, which we all have. And we'll use a screwdriver to find the center hole and we'll take very carefully a utility knife and try to just puncture the hole, but be very careful that you don't split it and you don't hurt yourself. Next, we're gonna take a machine screw and push it through the hole that we just created. But first, we'll actually use a hammer just to kind of get it started. And once we've got it in there, we can just use our thumb and push it in there and it should be pretty secure. Using a ruler, locate where you want your wheels to be placed, poke a hole with a pencil, and then insert the machine screw into the hole. Because it's threaded, it's not gonna fall out. It's actually gonna be pretty secure, but if you want it to be even more secure, just put a little dab of hot glue there before you thread it in. Decorate the arm, use a utility knife to punch a hole in the top, and of course pull the string or the yarn through and don't forget your paper clip. And this is a good time to attach with some hot glue the winch. Mine is in a fixed position, but you can also have it rotate by using another machine screw and a little bit more cardboard. And of course, painting and decorating, it's really fun. The kids are gonna enjoy this project so much. And the thing is, it didn't even cost you any money because it's made out of cardboard and items from around the house. This project was a lot of fun. And if you wanna do this project, you can find it at Home Depot or homedepot.com. There is a limited number of kits, but again, you can also make one out of cardboard and it would be just as amazing. Now, Home Depot has teamed up with Discovery Education to bring you tons of projects to do at home with your kids. And you can find them at Science Fair Central. So we will see you next project. I'm Serena. I'm Kojo. I'm Arne. And I'm Bob. And be sure to come back and join us next time for the next kids workshop.